All right, welcome back, guys. Um, today, oh yeah, I got a new truck. So, there was nothing wrong with my old one. I just had an opportunity to move up in life, so I did. Um, anytime you do, I highly recommend it. So anyway, there we go. We had to start over on our modifications. And so far, I replaced my stock box with the air raid and a high flow filter. Hey, kitty. Anyway, on to today's video. So today, I have a throttle body spacer. You can see that right there. There's one little slight issue, and that is there is no gasket between the throttle body spacer and the throttle body. So what we're going to do today, yeah, it's supposed to be right there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add a gasket. I have the gasket right here. So what we're going to do first is just remove this um, MIT tube. We don't have to take it completely off. Just loosen this until we can remove that back. And we'll probably take it off over there. So that way we can just kind of lay it over. So let's get started on that. Okay, next step, you're going to remove these 10 millimeter bolts. There's just four of them. You don't have to unplug this at all. I never did. Uh, while you have this off, um, it might be a good opportunity to go ahead and clean the inside. Get all the junk out if you have any in there. Okay, throttle body spacers normally have new bolts. As you can see, they normally have new bolts. As you can see, the new bolts are not that, they're not that much bigger than the old ones. So if you want to use the old ones, you can. Or if you want to go ahead and get that tiny bit of extra space let's go ahead and use the new ones so what we're going to do now is we're going to put this gasket on when you're putting on your throttle body spacer if you're getting it for the first time if you got a good one it's normally labeled so obviously the top goes on top and this is the bottom and they make it easy and they put gasket side on there so if you notice on the 5.3 the newer ones the intake is kind of at an angle so this goes in at an angle. So it fits like that. It won't go in any other way. And if you try and put it in upside down, it doesn't work. So it goes just like that. So we'll clean that up just a little bit and then we'll put this gasket on. Um, I'm gonna have to put the phone down for that. So um, just bear with me and we'll be right back. Okay, so we have the gasket on now. You can see it right there. Come on, focus. Yeah, you can see it right there. Um, that basically just um, creates an airtight seal. Just like any gasket. Creates a good seal so you don't have any air leaks of any kind when your engine is operating. So it's pretty simple, as you can see. It's not a lot to it. You don't have to unplug anything. You just unhook four bolts. And I'm just putting them in hand tight for now. And then I'll go back with a, a ratchet. So it's okay to go ahead and use an electric wrench 
or whatever you want to call it drill impact whatever you can use that when you're taking it off I don't recommend doing it when you're putting it on the reason why is because it is an impact and you do not want to over tighten or strip these bolts so the best thing to do is when you're putting it back together when you're putting it back together you always put the bolt in finger tight as best you can then you go back with a ratchet and you tighten them up to they're nice and snug So I decided to go ahead and go with the newer ones because, oh, they're new. There was nothing wrong with these. I'll find another reason to use those later. It's always good to have extra bolts in case you need them for something else. So now we'll go ahead and put this back on. So how I took this off, even on the factory intake, these little boots have this little push button right here. So you push that button in and you pull it just pull it out so now what we're gonna do is put this back on Let's see if I can do this with one hand I don't know maybe oh yeah there we go this one side before we go any further, let's put this back in. Normally I would use my camera stand, guys, but I don't know where it's at, so. We're doing this by hand. Make sure it's not folded over, which it looks like it did. So we do it again until it's on there perfectly yeah so just kind of snug that up like that and over here you do the same thing actually I think that moved into position when we got that on so we're good so now we can take our eight millimeter ratchet wrench and you tighten this back down. Yeah. Make sure it's going the right way, of course. When you start to feel it get a little tight, then that's usually good enough, so just move on to the next one. Like that's in there good. There you go. Alright, we're good there. That's it. That is how you install a throttle body spacer if you didn't know how. And if you forgot because you were tired like me and you did this in, at, in the dark, now you know how to go back and put on your gasket. Thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Sorry it's been a long time since I've actually posted. But um, lots happened and of course I got a new truck. So there'll be a lot more videos on modifications and things of that nature. So until then, you guys stay cool and I'll see you later.